So now he's at Minister of Northern Hemisphere. And I want you to look at the DACL. If you running that wizard, what that did is basically we added him you know, to the discretionary access control list and now there are access control entries that permit him full control over that organizational unit. Now if we look at the special permissions, 2008 a moment here, if we look at the special permissions, you know, domain admins is still the owner, administrator and administrators, so he's not the owner, but he does have permission. He has all of the effective permission he needs to administer everything there. Um, and of course special permissions, if we wanted to set any other special permissions, they would be located there as well under advanced view. So again, we'll do the same thing with Southern Hemisphere. I'm just going to run the delegate, uh, delegation of control wizard. And let's go ahead and add sh admin. And create a custom task. I want to you know, go ahead and give permission or apply permission to child objects. I'm going to give him all the permissions and say finish. So now sh is set. And now we want to go, and this time instead of using the delegation of control wizard, I'm going to go to security. I'm going to say add. This does the same thing. And sometimes, I guess, depending on which way you look at it, maybe this is the easiest way to do it, but either way, you know, that dog hunts, you can get the job done either way. Um, lunar at men. And then again, if we wanted to look at any other special permissions, we could modify those and set those here. So for lunar at men, you know, notice in this case we've been allowed all permissions to do everything. So two two different ways to basically do the same thing. I personally prefer, you know, editing aces on the DACL, but you know, you might like the delegation of control wizard. So let's test this out. Again, let's just make sure on the DACL, here's NH, he's added, but not SH and not lunar. So he should have permission for his area, but nobody else's. His turf alone. Let's look at the Southern Hemisphere, and let's go over to the Security tab. Okay, SH has permission on his turf, but not NH or Lunar, so he's good. And let's go over here and look at Lunar Base. And look at the Security tab, and there's Lunar Admin. He's got permission for his turf, but not for Northern Hemisphere or Southern Hemisphere. So we should have three distinctively separate uh, levels or layers of administration here in Active Directory. So let's test this out before we get into creating other users and groups and setting up our whole uh, fictitious, uh, exciting, intriguing uh, super spy organization. Um, now, here's something I want you to see. Um, you need permission to log on locally. And that's taken away by default. It's only granted to administrator and to backup operators uh, on domain controllers. Now, you can add it. We'll have to go ahead and edit the uh, default domain controllers policy and add a group called domain users to it just to give this administrator permission to log on using his security account and credentials and the reason is again let's look at his group membership real quick we'll do north northern hemisphere north you know nh admin but if you look at he's a member of domain users but he's not a member of the administrators group now that's a security precaution because Microsoft figures that you don't want just you know jo any Joe Blow logging into your domain controller to your servers. They're pretty important to your organization. You know you don't mind if they log into their workstations, but you don't want them you know playing uh, Pong or um, I almost said Space Invaders. I, I have to modernize here. You don't want them playing Half Life or you know trying to install Unreal Tournament or something on some of your mission critical domain controller servers. So they deny that permission. And we'll see that. Let's try to log in as NH admin. So other users, our domain is pirates. And let's try to log in as NH admin. Notice what it says. You cannot log on because the logon method you are using is not allowed on this computer. Please see your network administrator for more information. This is actually a, a group policy or security policy setting. So we need to go modify that and we'll just temporarily relax our security, so to speak. Again, I guess you know, in a, in a, in a real enterprise setting, you wouldn't want just anybody logging onto your domain controllers. You probably want to leave that intact, but we'll just disable it temporarily so we can kind of test our, our different levels of delegated authority. 
way I'm going to do that, there's, you know, there must be 10 different ways to access the security settings and, uh, you know, on a domain controller. My personal favorite, I like a Mickey Mouse console or MMC. I just, I use the run, you know, command prompt a lot. Add the snap in. We're going to go down. We're going to look for a group policy management. And that way, you know, I just, I don't have to hunt for it. I can just type it. I don't know. Maybe it's a, a Linux thing or something. I, I, I just don't like hunting for things. Um, what we want to do is open up domains and pirates arg. Pirates arg is our domain, and what we're interested in, or the policy we're interested in cha uh, changing, is the default domain controller policy. And it's kind of, you know, you'd think it's the default domain policy it's listed higher up, but in the inheritance hierarchy, it doesn't matter. It's cumulative, but if you don't change a setting here, it doesn't matter what the setting is here. As a matter of fact, I'll show you. If we click on edit and the GPMC. Let's go to policies, Windows settings, security settings. Let's go to local policies and user rights assignment. Notice there's nothing defined here. You think it would be in the default domain policy, but it's not. It's in the default domain controllers policy. This is what you need to, you know, again, if you want to allow users and other groups to log on to a domain controller, um, I guess that's fine for a lab setting. It may not be the best idea and, and you know, in, in, in a real enterprise environment, you may want to choose not to let them log on to your domain controllers. So we need to modify this, allow log on locally. And we're just going to add a group here, domain users, and that's a default group. Any user account that you make, it's added to domain users. So this way we'll be able to log in locally on our 2008 server with, you know, anybody put in any group that we decide to create using Microsoft's wonderful strategy of AGU DLP. I'm going to not save the console. But I do need to do one more thing, and I usually just type this, GP update from the prompt, but I want you to see what happens or what's going on. So sometimes it's a good idea to do this because then if there is a problem or there are errors, you'll get to see them. So whenever we change group policy, we want to type in G, uh, GP update from a command prompt on our 2008 server. And now it's going to update the group policy settings. Tells us, okay, user policy update has completed successfully. And I want to exit out. And now I'm going to log out as administrator.